Christine here, so I just wanted to be sharing with you guys this tutorial for Halloween. As you guys can see, this is an awesome sugar skull look. This is my first sugar skull I've ever done yet, and I think that it's really awesome for um, my first try. Yeah. I pulled together a whole bunch of inspiration, especially with the help of my friend Madison. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment down below um, your favorite part of this tutorial. Comment, just comment, co comment as much as you want. I really don't care. And don't forget to thumbs up this video. It only takes one little push of the button to like it. So if you guys are interested, please subscribe, comment, like, and. So first we're just going to be priming the face, which is very essential in this look, and then concealing any redness and just any acne marks that we have so it doesn't interrupt any of the makeup. And after that, I'm going to be taking my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk and applying this all over my face. This is going to be the White Skull Base, and I know I should have used like a face paint or whatever, cream makeup, but I did not have one, so I just used what I had, and I personally think that it's awesome because it's in a little stick form and it's very convenient. And after blending all of that makeup out, I'm just going to be setting everything with a translucent powder. On my left side, I'm just going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer to cover up any blemishes or darkness or just any unevenness all over my face, just so that the left side looks pretty perfect and clean. So it does not draw any attention away from the right side, I'm going to be setting my left side with this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which will really help in keeping everything shine free on the left side. With this NYX Cold Pencil, which is really easy to smudge, which is why I chose it, I'm going to be using this to draw a circle around my eye using my eyebrow as a guide. For this, I would recommend actually using shorter strokes, but me, you know, I've just been a little adventurous here. And after that, we're going to be filling in the top part, which is sort of where the brows are, to create more depth of the, and I quote, socket. From my BH Cosmetics palette and this black shade, I'm just going to be taking that and adding more dimension and depth for the look, and then with this purple color from the same palette, packing that into my lids and underneath my eyes. Using this champagne color, we're just going to be using the same brush and packing that on the first half of the eye, which will sort of add more light and depth to the look. And here is where I'm going to be taking this NYX Cold Pencil as we used before to create the scalloped design around the eye socket, getting thinner as we go uh, more towards the inner part of our eye. With this creamy jumbo pencil from NYX, this one is in Black Bean, I'm going to be using that to create a contour type look for more sunken in cheekbones as opposed to a flat face. And here is where we are going to be using the same NYX pencil as I said again um, to create this spider web type effect on the top of the forehead. Just starting along the side of my face using some dots going from smaller to larger in size. For this step you can really just make it all your own and create your own types of designs on the side of your face. I'm just going with these simple little swirls. And here we're just going to be drawing the sort of teeth like stitching. I don't really know what to call it but it just creates this like skeletal feel. And here we're just going to be sketching out the flower tip design which usually goes on the chin of the skull. For the scalp design we made previously, we're going to be filling those in with a red shadow. Just using the Sigma Angles brush which will really help get precise and in the lines. With this black jumbo pencil from NYX, I'm just going to be um, creating this sort of curvy type of nose at the end. And then here, we're just going to be shading in the flower design on the chin. I'm blending out the contour with a purple shade, then outlining the chin with a red shadow. Here, I'm just taking the pencil and basically lining my lower lash line and my upper lash line and waterline. I will also be creating a more bolder type flicked out look with the eyeliner as well. So as you can see coming up here, 
Um, I kind of winged it out with the same pencil to create a little bit more fake lashes and just, I don't know, I th kind of like how it turned out. Here I'm creating a new lip shape, which is kind of like a heart inspired, I'm not really sure, and then Max Mixing Medium, some red glitter, and this angle brush from Sigma, and patting in this glitter around the scalp design of my eye. I love how the red turned out, and yeah. We will also be doing this to the red on our chin. Using this MAC Purple Glitter, we're going to do the same process, the same mixing medium, and doing that to the chin as well. And then patting that on the inner parts of the lips, outlined by the red. Next, I applied these red cherry lashes and then finished up the left side of my face with the makeup and then started outlining the middle of uh, my face and I did this with eyeshadow instead of liquid liner just because I had a tough time with the liquid liner when doing this. I don't know, maybe it's just me. And then defining the scalloped effect around the eyes, applying some mascara and you are done! Thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked it, then please thumbs it up and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I love you guys so much and...